Snarks? Snarks! Snarks! I do I want to stay on this diff new game plus level. Maybe. Maybe? Oh, I'm gonna turn on dark transitions. That sounds actually really nice. Party out of 11. I don't know. Uh, let's see, I could also go... Well, that's not gonna help too much. Um, let's just restart this run. Arcanist, Archer, Swordsman. There we go. Pretty solid, just basic. Let's let's do some new game plus four. It'll be fine. If I get absolutely wrecked, we'll figure it out. Anyway, this is the looping level. It's got some new features, uh, namely looping, which is going to be kind of uh, irrelevant to me, as I suck at new game plus four. Like this, this game is uh, not easy, but they definitely made things better. They changed how builders work, which is kind of exciting. Uh, ooh, outlaw right off the bat. I guess I should. Take a look at the uh, patch notes just because. So, changed items, added some new items, added builders, which are what conjurers used to be. They got rid of the illusionist, the saboteur, the hunter, but they'll come back later. Uh, now they have the sentry, the bomber, and the artificer. So, going builders and psychers might not be a bad idea. Oh, the warrior changes. The juggernaut and barbarian now only attack when enemies are nearby. That's huge. Because they're wasting their... They were wasting their hits for a while. Uh, let's see. And also healers have been changed, so they heal better. Now it's a 20% of a unit's max HP instead, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Now they fixed the healing targeting. And healing orbs and gold coins are now slightly attracted to the snake by default. That's lovely. And they just kind of redid some of the other things. Oh. Huh. The carver might actually be a lot better than it used to be. Well, that's good to know. All right, I'm going to go Outlaw. Looks like we might be going for a bit of a uh, warrior build. I could go for a warrior build. Why not? We're here. Yeah, this is nice. My left hand was getting kind of tired from uh, holding control all the time. And that was getting obnoxious. And so just a nice, smooth run of Snurks is going to be quite quite friendly for me. If Carver got buffed, Rita will be happy. That's one of his favorite units. Really? Okay, Vagrant. Vagrant is even better? I think. Yeah, so they added the Psyker class back. Explorer and Psyker. Psykers, or they changed how Psykers work. So plus Psyker orbs and plus one orb uh, per Psyker, which just sounds really fun. I'm going to grab the merchant, too. Ooh. Looks like the orbs are a lot better than they used to be, too. They were kind of hit and miss earlier. But yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to see, like, a full-on uh, Psyker build at some point. Where I'm just, like, an orb battering ram. Unfortunately, range is kind of important. So we'll see how this goes. Oops. Those greens are gnarly. Yeah, let's battering ram, more blender. Well, I want to put something kind of tanky on the front. I miss how tough the Vagrant was, unless it's still as tough as it used to be. I don't know if they've changed that or not. Oh, and we get four now. So instantly kill elites below 10, 20, or 30% HP. That's actually really big. When an ally dies, it explodes. Defense all allies whenever warriors hit, or when enemies hit walls, they explode into projectiles. Many of these are tempting. I love the fact that I get four options now. That's huge. Enemies taking damage over time effects are slower. Big tempting. Chance for constructs to taunt. Damage over time damage. Or chance for attacks to poison, dealing 20 DPS for 3 seconds. I'm going to go for Noxious Strike. That just seems universally useful and can potentially pair with some other really nice things. And then we're going to grab all of these. Because Stormweaver is kind of nice, dual, uh, dual Gunner is great. I don't really have a plan yet. But First Elite needs firepower.
Eh. I was hoping I could avoid avoid the hit, but that's okay. But yeah, if we can have that poison comboed with the slow, that'd be lovely. Just for keeping enemies down. Um, just gonna grab the magician. We're just gonna grab everything. Everything that we can get. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, that blue is right up in there. There was no way I was gonna be able to avoid it. Green, greens are definitely, I'm going to say probably my, I don't know. Greens are one of those that you don't think are bad until you have to deal with them. Like just sending an entire force to just chow down on your whole snake. And then you're like, oh man, this is bad actually. Uh, let's see, a wizard. Gosh, I'm a smorgasbord of half complete classes. We got two rangers, two warriors. Two mages, and none of them are viable. I don't really want to start picking anything until I know what I want. Oh, you can actually see a uh, a charge meter on when he's going to do his like speed up ability. That's actually really nice. That's really nice. It makes that makes my life so much easier when it comes to managing this elite fight. There we go. Okay, chance for attacks to silence for two seconds on hit. That's big. Uh, let's see. Taunt, insurance. I like silencing strike. Okay, bomber. And pyromancer if I want to go nuker. Tempting. Plants a bomb. When it explodes, it deals 20 AoE damage. Pretty good. I got space for a couple more. Obviously, this pyromancer. Sure, why not? Bomber. Another level of wizard. And who do we get rid of? Uh, let's get rid of the Arcanist. Okay, and I'm gonna put the Bomber towards the front. Vagrant towards the back. There we go. So, we're kinda going for a Nuker build. We're not really, we're just going for whatever. But yeah, I love, I love the choices on items. Like, this, this is not a meh patch. This is a, this is a patch that changes quite a lot. Whoa. Oh, those are silenced enemies that are gray. Yeah, I don't think I care too much for the bomber necessarily. However, I don't hate it. Oh, that's going to be... Never mind, was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We're surviving longer. That big. And there's the Elementor, which is the one I was hoping for. There's also the Sentry. Spawns a rotating turret. Okay. There's also the Barrager. Um, hmm. Who do we get rid of? Uh, let's get rid of the... The that. Grab the Sentry. Put it in front. We've got the Elementor. Uh, do you know what? Probably gonna get rid of the Stormweaver. It's not really helping as much as I'd like it to. And Barrage is kind of good. So, we got a little bit on Nuker. We got a decent amount in Mage. Ranger, Builder, and that makes the Vagrant that much better. And I only have so much more money. Now we now we've got the the big nukes, especially with silencing, like at far range. Uh, 
Oh, that's how the sentries work. Interesting. Builders are kind of neat. Because, yeah, they, they just leave these little turrets all over the place. I might actually be able to beat New Game Plus 4 like this. Ow. Might be able to. We'll see. Okay, next level of Vagrant. It tempting. We'll get it. Uh, let's see. Don't care about Assassin. Don't care about Beastmaster. I want to upgrade this, but I'm going to wait. I also want to get Noxious Strikes, but wait on that one. Oh, that, that silence is so good. I wonder if that... I wonder if that straight up can affect, uh... Like the little minions. Okay, we're gonna get shot here. That hurt. You suck. I was really hoping they get silenced. Yeah, shooty, shooty boys are still going to be spooky for me. So what are we doing today? Roguelikes. I've, um... I don't know. I'm not gonna say crisis of... Like, what to do with myself? Ah, oh, shoot. That sucks. I've, I've been a little, like, uh... Eh, a little lost. Been trying to figure out what I want to do. Ooh, Echo Barrage. Oh, first and last positions have extra damage. That's nice. But no, we want to go Echo Barrage. And money. Do I want to go for a Psyker? It's tempting. If I specifically wanted to move away from Ranger, that would be the way to do it. I might get rid of the Bomber. No, Bomber's kind of kind of good. I don't know. Oh, we could get rid of the the that. I'm gonna put the Vagrant on the back. I'm just going to have orbs of plenty there. Okay. And yeah, let's get Echo Barrage. Boomstick build. Big AoE build plus orbs? Orbs! Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping... Between the Elementor and some other things, that, that silencing strike is so good. Uh, especially if I can get, like, Echo Barrage to potentially, like, duplicate the effect a bunch. Because, yeah, if I can just do Saturation Fire, keep them silenced, poison them to finish them off, uh, while we wait for the next big shot... There we go. That was clean. As can be. I could put... Oh, we have a magician, don't we? That's somebody that I could potentially remove. If I had to. Okay, now we got Echo Barrage. And I'm going to get the next level of poison. Echo Barrage plus the exploding summons turns the, uh, the map into unreadable fun cancer. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I, I'm already pretty happy with his build, but I can totally see what you mean. I'm getting so much, yeah. I'm getting so much better at also avoiding, um... Uh, let's see. Avoiding the mines. That was, that was something that I always had some trouble with. I'm an elementer. Work with me here. Somebody's going to take that hit. And we might want to potentially mix in a healer. 
We're taking a little bit more chip damage. We're not getting deleted as much. Yeah, I might I might want to get rid of the magician. Do I want a magician for a cleric? Yeah, we'll get it. A little bit of sustain. No idea if it's actually useful. There we go. And chance to poison. So now we've got Echo Barrage that has a decent chance of silencing and poisoning. Oh, that's how he works. Ooh. Yeah, and that poison stacks. Oh, that poison stacks. If we see a witch, though, we're definitely rolling witch. Echo Barrage plus, plus those AoEs sounds like it'd be incredibly stinky. Okay, Psyker Orb movement speed. Tempting. Constructs explode when disappearing, dealing damage. I like that. Annihilation when a die dies, deal damage over time. Maybe. Or just magnify. That's just... Not even a question. How much money do I have? I have enough. Big boom! Now all we gotta do is just, uh, crank up the, uh, damage. If we can get Amplify on top of all of this. Because, yeah, now all of my AoEs are large. <laughs> the Elementor hits the entire stage! Oh, uh, boy, if I could get, get him some attack speed, I'd be a happy camper. I, I I absolutely adore Snurks. I, I've said this about a couple of roguelikes, but I think Snurks embodies it most. Uh, Snurks embodies how to do early access better than any other game I have ever seen. This hurts. Nope. Why did it do that? I don't know. Well, at least we still have the Elementor. Okay, I should probably just approach it. It's fine. It was the last enemy. Flagellant. 20 damage to self. Ooh. Big tempting. Uh, do we get rid of the Archer at this point? Yeah, let's get rid of the Archer. Grab the flagellant. We're gonna lose that. However, we're going to gain uh, more psyker orbs. Flagellant's gonna kill itself, but that's why we have the cleric. Should be fine. Go for the next level. Reroll. There we go. Now, barbarian said, uh, "This should be good." Okay, that's a lot of orbs. Not actually sure how useful the orbs are. It'd be great if uh, if there was a perk that gave the orbs homing, so they just like just absolutely ping pong between every enemy and just like wail on it. Well, damn it! I was really trying to get that healing orb, but these guys hurt. Okay. A little bit of movement speed would probably also go a long way with this this crew. Ah, <sighs> three healing orbs every 12 seconds or cleric one for eight. Uh, you know what? Let's just go priest. Let's see. Barrager would be kind of nice, but no. Psychic, wizard, wizard, blade. We know blade is amazing. Let's use the merchant. It helping, but I'm probably going to regret that decision. I just want to max out Nuker. Yeah, giving Orbs Ricochet would give... Oh, that's really good. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oh, I got eaten there. There we go. That's a good silence. 
I don't like it when I get surrounded. Come on, mages. Ow, there goes the blade. Yeah, I could definitely use that perk that slows down enemies. Yep. Oh. Yeah, we kind of stopped shooting at it. Okay, who's even left? I don't know, but I think I'm boned. I think these are the sentries left. I might be able to pull this off. Wish it was the elementer still alive. But is what it is. Unfortunately, the sentries don't aim, they just fire. So I just have to kind of AoE. There it goes. Unfortunately, that ain't the last of the waves. As long as none of these shooters get suddenly really good at hitting me, I'll pull it off. I wonder if actually one of the biggest uh, boons to this game would be if um, getting the shooters to shoot each other is huge. Uh, one of the biggest boons of this game might actually be if, like, New Game Plus zoomed it out a little bit. You know, gave you a slightly bigger arena. Because the problem is the snake just gets so... Okay, good. Yeah. I love it when they shoot each other. Um, an 11 length snake is very long. Okay, down to one shooter. And we don't have any greens to screw me up. up so I think I'm going to pull it off. Oh, I should not be looking at chat right now. That would go Bradley for me. Please. Please kill the... Let's kill the shooter. <laughs> I can't ram. I can't do anything. This is no cleric situation. There we go. Shooter be dead. Okay. There we go. Kind of. Got your first set of magic cards. Ooh, fun! Magic the Gathering is good stuff. I enjoy it a lot. How did I... Well, I know how I lived. That'd be good. to reroll these. Just release a homing barrage on an enemy kill. Last stand would be good, but I'm gonna try and go for a homing barrage. Psykeeper. Nah. Witch. And the Chronomancer. Okay. Uh, let's lose the dual gunner and... Possibly the sentry. I know the sentry just carried us to victory.
Let's see. Put the Vagrant in front. Put the Blade slightly behind. Pyromancer there. Chronomancer can kind of be wherever. Okay. I'm going to go for that. It should be fine. Okay, so now we've got orbs. Yeah, I think the witch is going to be kind of what the doctor ordered. Just in terms of... I don't know what's going on. Also, did the Vagrant get, like, a lot more aggressive? Why is the Vagrant suddenly, like... Murder Man? Oh, it's the homing barrage! Wow! We just went from very strong to... I can show you the world as I cleanse it with fire. Um... Ooh... Squire. Would be tempting. Who did I clear out for that, though? Like... Maybe the bomber. We're gonna lose the bomber. I don't think it's gonna help that, that much. Let's see, lose the flagellant. I'm kind of keeping the flagellant just because it also scales damage. Next level wizard, next level vagrant. We lost the bomber, but that's fine. Of course, now it's going to taunt me with more, but that's okay. The blade? No, the blade is actually really good. Okay, tragically, all the healings on that side. Yep. Okay. This build has so many legs. We're not a snake, we're a centipede. Ow. Oh, we ain't dead yet. But neither are they. It's okay. Yeah, that, that homing barrage was all I needed. Okay, Plague Doctor. Area of the deal... Ooh. Plague Doctor might actually be really good. An area of the deal is 13 damage. That's high on the list of actually pretty good. I like the blade. We could get rid of the flagellant. Let's do it. Okay, what is the most common right now? Kind of fine. Let's see, cannoneer. Cannoneer would be really good. Because that would give us... An extra 10%, he just also fires good shot. For my wizards. We could get rid of the chrono... Uh, no, we want the chronomancer. I don't know. I might just have to live without the can cannoneer. He fires a little too slowly for me. I know the... Was it the Corruptor? No, it's the Infestor that's really good. Will this be the New Game Plus 5 run? Maybe. I do a lot of damage. Which puts me in a very good spot for just clearing a lot of the, uh, the basic minions that this dude... Ow. Spits out. The big issue is if he touches me, my dudes just go down. Massive credit to the witch. 
I stand by the idea that the witch is probably one of the best things in the game. Resonance, clearly. Not even a question. Infester would be lovely, but I just I don't think there's any space in my build. <laughs> we are capped out. Even if it would be really good. We are just full in on AoE. Now all we need is the one that makes AoEs get even bigger. And do more damage with every passing second. Oh. And that's why I want to hold on to the blade. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I see a couple of forcers. Nope. Uh oh. No, we're fine. Whatever the forcer enemy type is. But we are okay. There we go. Especially with the silencing and the homing and a bunch of other things. The enemies are definitely getting, getting like really beefy though. In a way that makes me a little worried. I'm having a little bit of trouble chunking through it, but it's not so bad. <sighs> Cryomancer? Nah, none of these. Nope. Nope. Big nope. Next level Vagrant. <sighs> Maybe someday. Working on that Squire. And Blade. Vagrant and Wizard. Okay. Uh, oh! Wizard level 3! Chains two times. On top of everything else. Yeah! That might be really big. I mean, honestly, just getting a bunch of guys past... Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. <laughs> getting a bunch of guys up to level 3 is such a massive DPS boost that... I think that wizard just deleted them. <laughs> uh, yeah, fitting a sage in here would have been great. There's a couple of things. I'm really looking forward to the full-on roguelite mode. I would love to see uh, this game change. I'm just going to absorb those. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're good. Uh, I would I would love to see some of these more ridiculous builds, but in like different arenas. Like, how cool would it be if you could actually change like how big the arena is? Uh, yeah, how long your snake is. Maybe combine two units together. That's one thing I would love to see, is like a gestalt creature. Oh, so the artificer is like the illusionist, kind of, sort of. Neat. Not useful for me right now, but neat. Hey, elemental level two. So he doesn't die, and he does more damage. Pac-Man mode. Adds internal walls. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that would be really fun to watch. Man, every single update with Snurks just changes the game so tremendously and in such a beautiful manner. Like, and every time, every time I played this, I always get, like, sick of it, kind of, just, just because I've been playing it for a while and, you know, the game doesn't change too much. And then every time there's a patch, I'm like, oh man, let's come back, let's, let's see what's changed. And it's always just, like, twice as good as it used to be. And it's like, I wanna, I wanna say, like, at, no, at some point, he's going to hit a limit. At some point. I don't... I don't know if he's going to. I mean, eventually this game is just going to be done. But, like... Gosh, sign me up uh, for... Whoop. Sign me up uh, to be, like, the first person on the Kickstarter for Snurks 2. That doesn't have to be anytime soon. Snurks, as it stands, is kind of functionally perfect. Uh, and so it seems like the kind of thing that would 
be better later. Okay, Burning Field. Tempting, but we're not doing a whole lot of Sorcerer Spell Repeat. Wait, killing an enemy fires a homing dagger. I mean, I already kind of have that, but... Huh. <sighs> Do I even bother with the next level of Chronomancer? I will. I don't need the money. Snark's stupid in 3D. Uh, personally, I would love to see like a visual overhaul that makes it look look a little bit more Nova Drifty. Gosh, if there ever two roguelikes with very similar flavors that I wish could almost learn from each other somehow, it would be Snark's and and Nova Drift. Like those two games are just absolutely brilliant in their core design. And I feel like if you could somehow find the perfect fusion between Snurks and Nova Drift, you would have, like, a nion perfect formula. Snurks controlling two snakes. I mean, it would be interesting to have a co-op mode where you effectively split, uh, split the snake in half. And, uh, you know, each of you can go, like, completely different builds. I would enjoy that thoroughly. Oh, uh, they got munchy. Yep. There we go. Oop. <sighs> yeah, I lost the witch. Still got a couple rounds left on this one, but it's getting it's getting a little dicier. If only a bit. The main thing is we might actually want to just move away from having the priest at this point. What I really want is the Psykeno. I haven't seen it go by though. Uh, let's see. Next level Squire. Next level Chronomancer. Next level Plague Doctor. I don't know why I rerolled one more time. It's okay. We've almost made it. So this is the last of the regular ones, and then we've got an elite fight. Yep. Frankly, if I were to get rid of anything at this point, I'd honestly maybe... Maybe consider switching out the Vagrant. No. But having the current levels of Vagrant with Explorer means... Uh, way more... Is it psychic? <sighs> Gonna lose some off the back. It's fine. Either that or we consider just switching off priest at this point. Purely just because I don't think priest is doing me that many favors. It's keeping some of my dudes topped off. But even more firepower, I think, would go so much further. The Pyromancer isn't doing as much as the Vagrant. It's true. The Pyromancer is functionally not great. That hurt. This hurt. That's bad. Whew. Whew! Got munched. Yeah, we need some more firepower, maybe a little less sustain. 
Vulcanist. Vulcanist ranks real high in terms of things that I could probably grab, and it would be worth it. Uh, let's see. Gambler. Kind of okay. Hurt this. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, Psychic is still pretty good. I'm not going to go for the Chronomancer. At this point, we're not going to get it. Do I want to get a Sage? Mainly a slow projectile that draws enemies in. Could be... No, it's not going to help that much. There. Blade level 2. That... That's big helpful. Witch level 2. Also big helpful. Alright. Six Nuker, though. It's a 10% bonus. But... Some of my other perks are... I'm going to say better. Well, boss is dead. That was quick. Yeah, amplify. Just raw damage on top of what I've already got. That's not even a question. Wait, was that? No, that was not elementary level three. I was like, whoa! Get the next level of Priest. Yeah, we can roll right down. All the way to the bottom, because this is the last one. Okay. Time to sell some unnecessary bonuses. Uh, I guess we'll go Vulcan this level 2. I was really hoping I could get Squire, uh, the next level of Squire. Okay. Time to delete this man. He has been deleted. New game plus 4 conquered. Congratulations. Follow me on Steam. Cool. Uh, okay. So continue run, plus difficulty, max size. I want to get up to New Game Plus 5. Hopefully it lets me get there. Well, okay. Do we know? Does anybody know? Because I'd love to loop, but I'd also love to just unlock New Game Plus 5. And I'm not entirely sure if it does. Do we just do it anyway? Because, like, whatever, who cares? I don't need to beat New Game Plus 5. Loop!